many operating systems, Windows, Mac, uh, Linux, which is just a kernel, I know, but the desktop environments included on that kernel include a blue light filter, and the most common one is Redshift. This project's been around for a while, and essentially, if you don't know what a blue light filter is, it filters blue light out of the spectrum of colors that are being displayed on your screen. And the science behind it says that blue light keeps you up at night. Uh, if you're trying to sort of end your day or you're working late, that the blue light is, is harsher. And um, I'm not going to get into all of the specific details and I'm not well versed on it. All I know is that when this technology was made available on phones and tablets and subsequently on desktop, it was something that I certainly enjoyed using and having used GNOME and Cinnamon and all of the other desktop environments under Linux and then settling on Plasma and really enjoying KDE's Plasma desktop, I thought, gee, there has to be a way to also have Redshift or a blue light filter on Plasma. And it turns out there is, but for whatever reason, it's not installed by default. Not sure why that is, but it is called uh, the Redshift Control for Plasma, and it is a tray application that integrates under the system tray settings. So under general, you have these different extra items. And there are some things in here that maybe you didn't even know were here, but you can enable and then they become a little widget or application in your tray. You notice there's not a listing for a redshift or blue light filter here at the moment, and that's because it's not installed. So this is Kubuntu, but I believe any of the Ubuntu flavors, and it's I believe it's also under Arch as well in the repositories, These this uh, Plasma applet redshift control. So you need to install it and restart your Plasma session for it to show up. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's do uh, apt install. Okay. And it's a, just a tiny little applet. And there you go. So now it's installed, but you'll notice that if I click here, it doesn't show up yet under the uh, under the list of available items. So what you need to do is restart, either log out and log back in, which I'll do because that's just kind of the easiest way to do it. Uh, or you can restart your computer. All right. So now if I go to configure system tray, Hey ho, what do you know? Redshift control. All right. If I add that, now you see this little guy shows up here and you can configure it. And if you know anything about Redshift, one of the, there's a Redshift. So it's, it's essentially a, doesn't have a UI. It's just a, it's a tool that runs in the background that you can provide a configuration file for. And it explains how to configure all of that on the Redshift page. And, you know, so you can manually set it up. What's nice about this is it's providing you a nice UI to do all of that, which, uh, so there's a GTK version as well, which is included in some distributions and you can install it. But th this is just really nicely developed and integrated with KDE Plasma itself. So basic, you know, options here, if you, again, if you don't know anything about Redshift, this might all be new and different for you. But if you've used Redshift and other distributions, then you know exactly what all of this is. Um, if, if you set it to auto start based on your uh, automatic location, which if you have GeoClue installed or your distribution has it installed, great, that'll do its own thing. If you don't, then you can put in manual latitude and longitude. And then, uh, so essentially the system is reading when sundown and sunup is, and it will enable redshift during those hours. So smooth transitions is just whether or not it's a very fast transition between um, when the filter's applied. So there's really not much else to talk about here other than the temperature itself. So you can set 
uh, whether how, how red it is or what the shift in the in the red spectrum or the spectrum towards red would be and I tend to night 4000 is pretty red for me so that's that's usually not I usually 4750 is is what I prefer um, and that's basically it. I mean, it, that's how easy and simple it is to add it. You just, if you don't know that that exists in the repository or that that project exists for this tray application to, uh, uh, you wouldn't know to install it. And so that was basically the point of this video was to just show you very quickly in case this is a feature you enjoy in other desktop environments and was wondering why KDE Plasma doesn't have it. They do, they just haven't enabled it by default for whatever reason. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, if there's anything I can help you with, please leave them below. As always, thank you for watching the video and I will see you next time.